I expect a good, clean, hard fight. You will obey my commands at all times. No rough stuff out there. Take them off. Good luck to both of you. 147 amateur wins, a highly regarded prospect, four-time National Golden Gloves champion, and now undefeated going up against Chris Rollins, who is uh, Rollins, a uh, MMA fighter, coming here limited in professional boxing experience. So we'll see if he can hold up against young Vito here. And still growing into his body. I mean, who knows what he's going to look like. And already kind of getting thick, but he's right now at welterweight. And again, very difficult for him as he was extremely busy. It is something, Joe, that, you know, he's living the high school life, and yet he's fighting on undercards in Las Vegas. Yeah, I, I was roller skating somewhere at 17. You know, I just, <laughs> was, <laughs> um, uh, he's an overachiever for sure. You know, his father uh, was a tremendous athlete, great high school and college wrestler, a very athletic family. I see a lot happening for him in the future, for sure has his own gym in Passaic, New Jersey, and they were able to keep Vito in there and keep him safe. Good right hand by Milnicki. This first round is just, you know, him testing out the guy, throwing different combos, uh, seeing what, what, what the guy is giving him. Uh, Chris Rollins is a guy that has five different uh, techniques because he's a UFC fighter. We are back, and we're pleased to be back here on FS1 as well. Getting a little closer to uh, Chris and uh, experimenting, throwing some combinations. And as Lennox said that, at the end of the first round, Milnicki did close the gap, had unloaded a, a nice attack with a, a left hooks from the body into the head and finished with some combinations. Milnicki started his professional career with three straight knockouts. Either, you see, he's outlanding Chris Rollins by a wide margin. I just love that's a good hook yeah. by Milnicki. And a good right hand, and oh, Rollins is hurt. Staggered as he goes back to the ropes and looks to hold on and trying to regain his composure. Strong right hand by Milnicki again. Rollins is clearly hurt. This is coming Hook to an end. and a right hand. Rollins trapped in the corner now. And this, Milnicki then slips and goes down as the fight is over. Rollins is protesting. Milnicki fell as Jerry Cantu was stopping the fight. Yeah, yeah, you got pushed back. Look, Roll Rollins is what, protesting that he was getting hurt uh, with every punch in the last 20 seconds there? No. No, uh, that's why the referee's in there, to save yeah. uh, save a, a, a boxer that may not realize that he's in terrible trouble, but yeah. he was. Yeah. I think if the fight would have went on, he would have yeah. lost or got knocked out very badly yeah. or landed badly. So I think the referee made a good decision there. Early on, you see them trading the hook toward the back of the head, but it wasn't that. It was, as we're showing you slow here, this right hand and Joe Goose and that, and he's got a very nice short right hand. He goes back in for the kill here. There's a left hook right hand. Now he's really defenseless and he starts on low. Jerry Cantu's thinking about jumping in. And after that punch right there, he said, that's enough. Jerry gave uh, a good push to Vito, and Vito went down. Two minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Our referee in charge, Jerry Cantu, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is still undefeated. White Magic, Vito Milnicki Jr.